My big burnout event happened in my early 40s when I was fit, healthy and productive. I had a great marriage, two adorable kids and professional success. I wasn't drowning in stress, overcome by overwhelm or even anxious. Externally, it looked like I was living the dream, but internally, it felt like a nightmare. I was ready to give up, tap out and declare that the price of having it all was far too high. In truth, I was working too many hours, drinking and eating too much, sleeping poorly and occasionally stealing moments of me time by staring at the idiot box. And it slowly dawned on me that I was ignoring my spirit. I was knuckling down, ignoring a creeping sense of emptiness and just going hard to get it all done. My inner life was non-existent. The second crushing realisation was that no one had a solution. The world was not about to slow down so that I could take a break. My kids didn't want to see less of me, my wife wanted me to stay fun and romantic, and my clients still wanted their breakthrough results. And I realised I'd been thinking that I just needed to get over the current high demand situation and it would all get back to normal. That way the pressure would ease and I'd feel like myself again. It was devastating to realise the opposite was true. As our girls matured into teenagers, they needed more quality time rather than less. My clients grew in number and expectations which sucked up extra hours and my mostly excellent hard-working employees needed care, training and guidance, so extra responsibilities landed on my plate. After trying all the external solutions I could think of, you know, virtual assistants, business managers, outsourcing projects, time management systems, etc. I realised I was doing everyone a disservice by delivering at 60% because I was too pushed to do any better. And I was unwilling to continue to do that, especially to my kids. So as much as I didn't want to, I pushed a few responsibilities off my plate. Each of them was a tough call because I was emotionally involved. I was only able to make those decisions because I wanted my daughters to get all of me, not just a piece. I also wasn't prepared to sacrifice my marriage in exchange for paying off the mortgage a bit faster or having some extra toys in the shed. So in a slow, determined, some would say ruthless way, I scaled back because I finally saw how much value there could be in having less and being more. And I can honestly say I've never looked back. The switch to a focus on my inner life has delivered for me in more ways than I can count. So maybe now is the time for you to make some similar decisions. What would it be good for you to do less of so you can do more of what really matters to you?